Hey guys, LA Show Stack here. I hope you are doing well. Um, I'm putting together some new trainings for singles who are looking to get into and maintain healthy relationships. And I work with singles who are older as well as those who are divorced with children and without children. And they all really want to get into something healthy and maintain it, so keep it. So I'm putting together some new trainings for the singles who are older and I'm trying to figure out what are some of the most major concerns that they have when it comes to um, getting into a relationship and there are a few mind frames that people who are older and single have and I want to discuss them as well as knock the shit out of them right here right now and the reason why I curse is because sometimes the mind is so strong in how it views the world that it needs definitive thinking and it needs definitive verbiage to really clear a path of health in your brain okay so let's begin one major concern or I would say way that you know, someone who's older and single views the world is that it hasn't happened for me till now so since it hasn't happened it won't happen in the future now this makes a lot of sense except for one thing viewing relationships as haphazard things that just go with nature right in other words like it's just it's nature to find somebody fall in love and have a long-term relationship and that's it you're in well no it's not and some will argue with me and say, well, what do you mean? That's how my parents met. They just happened to have met. And some will say, um, this is how, uh, you know, I, I went ahead and, and I, I, you know, go ahead and, and view my life and, and is that things are just supposed to happen naturally. Well, that way of thinking is not going to be helpful in order for you to get what you want because... In order for you to get what you want, which is a healthy, fun, loving, easygoing relationship, you need to first take action within your own being and with your own mind frame of how you view things. So if you are watching this and you are older and you are single and you have the thought, well, it hasn't happened for me till now, so that means that it won't happen. It's putting you in a victim way of thinking about relationships. It's taking the onus off of you and putting it almost out into the ether, out into the world, out in the, into nature and spirituality and God and all those things to say, well, you know, it's, it's really all up to God or it's really all up to uh, the universe or whatever is supposed to happen or not supposed to happen. Yeah, I get that. But I think that what you need to do and what I've seen in terms of success of my own clients and, and, um, and in my own life is that in order for me to truly love my partner, I had to truly love myself. And I had to change the way that I thought about relationships in order for me to get into and maintain what I currently have. And that's a work that, and an effort that I, I do on a daily basis. So if you want something to happen, if you think that it's just going to come to you, then it won't. It won't. So break, break down that thought and move on. And another thought that older singles have, which is extremely 
debilitating and negative about relationships. You'll hear um, guys say, oh, the old ball and chain, or uh, the wife that's like, oh my gosh, so controlling, or or the husband who always tells me what to do and I have to just acquiesce and I have to constantly do and, and be exactly the way that, that they want me to be. Well, who the hell would want to get into something like that? So it makes a lot of sense to just stay, sing, stay single and, and just, um, okay, I'm just going to stay where I am, right? That makes a lot of sense because if going into the relationship is going to be one where I lose my independence, I lose my freedom, I lose my sense of self, then why in the hell would I get into that? So even though there's a part of me that's pushing me that knows, okay, I want it for all these other reasons. I want it for intimacy. I want it for companionship. I want it for um, love. I want blah, 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 all those things. But no. Take a look at all the marriages that have broken up. Take a look at all the, the people who are settling and, and who are unhappy. So of course you wouldn't want to get into that. You need to break that down. That is a mind frame those are thoughts which will prevent you from getting into that healthy relationship you need to you need to conquer that and those are some of the things that we talk about in the program the find the right one coaching program but let's let's go on to the next um, the next uh, feeling or mind frame is that I'm going to be stuck in this I'm going to be stuck in this relationship so Again, if I have my independence, if I know who I am, if I love my life for what it is, why would I go ahead and give that up if I feel I'm going to get into something where I'm stuck with this crap? Again, who the hell would want to get into something like that if you feel that you're going to give up your independence and you're going to be stuck? So you need to break that mind frame down as well and understand that being stuck is a choice. You're not stuck. You can do whatever you want to do. You can be whoever you want to be. You're allowed to love whomever you want to love. I'm here to tell you that. Your mind will fight me. And society will fight me. But you can't. So feeling stuck is, is in your head. You, you need to erase that. Because again, if you're older and single, why would you want to get into that relationship if you have that mind frame? Then another, another almost opposite way of being pushed into this relationship is this feeling of uncomfortability right in other words like i'm uncomfortable in social situations where there are, where there are many families i'm uncomfortable at family gatherings because i don't have a partner so what i'll do is i'll avoid these things so as not to feel uncomfortable, so as not for people to ask me about, so what's new, what's going on, what's your love life like? Uh, you need to truly work on your entire sense of self in order for the older single to get into and maintain that healthy relationship. So those are just some of the things that I wanted to share with you today. And those are some of the fears and, and concerns that you think of um, with the Find the Right One coaching program. So um, funnily enough, I happen to be on a cruise right now and uh, hearing some couples um, arguing right to the left of me. So that was fun. Um, very ironic. Okay. but. If you do find this video meaningful and you would like to sign up with me for a free strategy session where we could talk about some of your concerns, 
I'd be more than happy to and just click on the link below and have an awesome day. Thanks.